Greetings friends, welcome. Today we're looking at Git Squash. The scenario here is you've got a main branch, you've created a feature branch, made quite a few commits on there, and now you want to merge back from the feature into the main. But you don't necessarily want to have all of these commits showing up on the history of main. You might have some comments that it's just superfluous, like a uh, commit saying um, added typo fix or changed color here or repositioned. Well, you, all you want to be able to pull back in potentially is um, to say added feature X. Uh, and that's why Git Squash can help us out. So uh, oh, before we jump in though, if you find yourself enjoying the video, feel free to click that subscribe below. You'll get updates for future videos. Okay, so the scenario I've got over here then is I've just created one file um, and we did a commit on that main file. Um, and then we created a feature branch and then we did these three commits here. We, we added item two, added item three and added item four. Now, so these are all on the feature branch. We want to pull them back into the main branch, but we don't want added item two, three, and four. We just want to say added uh, feature X, say. Um, so how would we go about that? Well, um, let's, let's get back onto the main branch. Put the log here again. See what it says. Um, so all we've got on there is that initial commit, and we just want to have one extra commit. So if we just merge normally, then we would get all of those commits. If I did um, git merge and feature, then it's going to do a fast forward, and you'll we'll see all of those on it. So you look at git log, then in that scenario, we've got more than we might potentially want on the uh, the history here. So let's roll that back, uh, let's do a git reset, um, c to f8, get back to where we were. So if I look again now, okay, we're back to that initial commit. So to pull it in and only have one commit, we can use squash. So we can do git merge um, feature dash dash. Squash. Uh, and when we do that, um, yeah, so it will say, let's see, it'll say not updating head. So if I look at the log after that merge, there's nothing extra there yet. But if I do a git status, we can see our file has been modified. So what we're going to be able to do is do a commit. Um, on the merge from the feature branch. So I can do um, git commit, we can say added feature x. And now when I look at the log, we'll see our single added feature x uh, in, the, in the history there, rather than all the commits that might be made on that branch. Um, so that is git squash in a nutshell there. Um, hope you enjoyed that. If you'd like to give me a thumbs up, thumbs down. If not, thanks for watching though. Catch you next time. Bye.